So yeah, you might notice when I drywall, I always keep uh, the ground clean. And that's so when I put the bottom board or the bottom of the board in, it doesn't, nothing falls behind it and makes it bust out. Uh, so yeah, I always, I'm always sweeping and I keep it as clean as possible. Um, plus I like it to be clean anyways. Like I don't like working in a mess. Drywall can get really, really messy. Guys have been asking me how to find your cutouts, right? So for example, in a bathroom, you're going to have pipes and wires and you always have uh boxes to cut out in different in, in all the rooms right uh these here you have the sprinklers what i'm going to do is measure my sheet from this wall okay it's going to go all the way to the blue so i got 63 and an eighth i'm going to take a quarter inch off a big quarter inch off uh from this side so um that oh shit i'm so i'm not even concentrating so 62 7 eighths. Okay, so our sheet 62 7 eighths. To cut out the sprinkler now, because I'm gonna go butt tight to the blue, I'm gonna come back from it. And I'm gonna find center. I got 24 and a big quarter. Oh, and then top down to center, I got 16 quarter. 16 quarter small maybe let's see here on this side of it yeah 16 quarter is good cool so first thing first I'm gonna cut my sheet to size 62 7 8 always find the sheet that's um, you know closest to that number I can cut two 12 a 12 and a half for for this for this wall right I'm gonna need two of them and, and never write on the a finished drywall on the white with marker by the way and these big walls you know when you're working alone you just got to be careful with them but you know use your head when you're maneuvering them <sighs> these sheets have got to be like 200 pounds at least right so 62, 7 eighths, and I'm coming from the blue, and I'm using my knife to mark on a pencil so that my knife, it stays in my hand the entire time. And 63 for the bottom. Five-eighths, I always score twice. Half inch just once. <laughs> Oops. Be careful with that, and you don't break your corners, right? Oh, shit. I was getting hooked on my drill hook. So, just to show you again, I'll put it on my mark, hit it with my toe, boom, 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 okay, hit it with my toe, my mark, okay, and then to break it, I'll put it on my toe, okay, let's break this one first. Okay, so we got our sheet here. I uh, just want to make sure you guys can see everything good. Make sure it's on and it's on. I'm strapping it to my head today, so this is different. Okay, so we had 24 and a big quarter over. And hopefully you guys this is at a good angle. 16 and a quarter down. 
All right, um. <clears throat> okay, we know it's an inch and seven eighths pipe. So I set some uh, circle cutters, be careful whether you have to set them on this side of the line or this side. This one, I need to be on the inside of it. So I'm gonna set it to inch and seven eighths. A little bit big but and then don't pinch it in too far okay just use the keep the point in and do a nice light circle at first all right and then you can dig in a couple times if you'd like okay when you're routering round your counterclockwise when you're cutting out sheets okay counterclockwise and keep your bit to an angle on around okay like that okay before you load a, a sheet up make sure oh crying out loud <laughs> you always have a screw ready to go and what do we got going on in here now perfect okay These are sprinklers, so you, you want to be very careful. Okay, so it needs to go up, obviously. tight it's a little a little off but I it's come there that's better beautiful yeah mine it's like that essays <laughs> usually it's not and then you hold them hold the screws in your hands like this okay And that's why I sweep out the bottom, okay? So there's nothing in there. And it's nice and clean. You can do this by yourself easy, easily too. Alright, just line up the one side. Check out the other. Yeah, and there you go. Boom, baby. And as far as what screw goes first, it doesn't really matter. Um, you want to mark your studs at the least, okay? And a lot of times you can come back and screw off the fields after, right? But you and you want to just mark your perimeters. If you're doing houses, you won't even screw in the field. It'll be all glue, and you only and maybe one in the middle somewhere. But then you'll be only screwing the perimeters, right? 
it's eight inches on the ends okay and it's 16 on the bottom in the in the, on the bevel right <clears throat> and when you're when you're doing your field okay you you reach down okay get one in the track and then it starts at knee height knee waist okay then at your waist then your chest and then a reach okay that's how it works okay so foot knee waist reach yeah stay away from the corner right there you like that stay away from the corner okay make sure that the screws are countersunk and they don't break the paper okay you can set the depth of your gun by twisting the nozzle it's typical to be constantly adjusting for different things as well okay like when you're doing corners and stuff you might want to go deeper so sometimes you're just going to run into a wall with the wire okay with a single wire hanging out all you're going to do is find center right just like normal okay we have 54 and an eighth and we're doing lay down so top down six uh 15 and five eighths to center right you find that on your board always draw your tape the same way okay so where you measure and where you draw always the same so over 54 and an eighth <coughs> down 15 and five right on since it's a small hole you take your keyhole saw that's it okay three quarters of an inch that's all you do with those wires okay just poke it in and twist it around like that okay that's it Okay, these guys are nice. They have them nice and long for us. Oop. And I got that vent up there as well. Boom. beauty let's take her up oh yeah that's how we roll doesn't even need screws <laughs> so next I'll show you this wall here okay you look you have uh, two pl plugs that you have to rudder out uh, a, a duck sleeve that needs to be ruddered a pipe that needs to be cut and a door frame so I'll show you how to do this once you can do this you can do anything you're going to basically just make a couple marks first okay so you obviously know you have a big duct right here okay you don't have to find center really you just go in like three inches to the side and then zip around it you got to know where your boxes are right so here's one in two right there's one right here which you'll see anyway at the four foot right but it's over 18 whatever uh, you'll be able to see it from the other side too but generally you want to mark where they are you don't want to mark it on the board just keep it here so you can find it later the pipe same thing okay find center uh four and a big quarter okay okay so four and a quarter big um this one will be bottom oh wait let's wait we'll get the top sheet on because these ones are actually lining up before we had to put the sheets right on the ground so we could do bottom up but this time we'll have to wait and do bottom down first thing is to get this sheet in okay so you're going to check it right 58 5 8 58 5 8 so it looks like 58 5 8 will work we'll go 58 uh, 8 half because we have finish to finish right so we want to be tight right so 57 half it looks like it'll work because it's 58 5 8 consistent if not we'll just give it a lighter rasp i want to keep it from this way because of the cable <laughs> right on. okay 
Okay, see, it's on. I'm gonna tack it in. Oop. Right. Oh. Tight at the top, see? There, see now the split difference is pretty good there. Tack her in. Oh. Man, my hands are so bad, guys. <laughs> like. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my router, sure, but I'm gonna back cut this. Okay, back cut it. That's not right to say it, but I'm just go like so. Oop. All right. and my glasses. I like to wear glasses for this. But. Okay, so Whew. first things first is the duct up top, okay? We still going? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna find it, right? And I'm gonna Is what it is that's okay this is all bulkheaded drop ceiling in here as well but yeah so we're good there while i'm here i'll nail some screws in her so this is why i just check 13 and a half so my thing is right below that my header sorry so my screws will basically go in right about here Draw that line quick so I can put a screw in it on the header here and here. Alright, now, so I know this is 18 over, okay? So I check right here. I'm just gonna hit it with my router like that, okay? Sheet almost. Push it in so it doesn't fall on you, right? And if it's a little messy, <sighs> give her a rest. Let's do this again, okay? So here uh, it was easy. I just I know the box is here, so I'm gonna just put two inches over, okay? Is where, where I can start. Uh, measured uh, top top down. 
uh, to center, right? So I got uh, 29 7 eighths to center. On these are cool because you can go right to the center here. You can see the little line here on the pipe. That's center, right? So over, same thing, find, find the center. I got 4 and 5 eighths to center. If you're unsure about the size of the pipe, then square the size over. Okay, you can square anything over, okay, and that and that'll also give you your measurements, okay? So mark <laughs> and mark. Right? And you can also do this for any measurement you need, okay, and then find centers after. Okay. Uh, so it's a two and a half inch pipe, right? And you can also go down, measure bottom up, right? So uh, you don't have to go to centers. You can go to the top, right? And to the bottom, side to side if you want. Uh, it all depends on how good you get, right? <sighs> that leg's for there. So now that we know that they're two and a half inch, I, did, I was I thought they were. I always thought they were. Four and five eighths. Top down. Twenty nine and seven. Boom. Hang right on. I'm set my to two and a half. And remember, don't stick it in too far, okay? Just a little bit, because the further you stick it in, the smaller the circle gets, right? Because it's a point. And then I just go deeper as I go, right? Uh, see, the two and a half looks big, but that's fine. And when we're cutting things out, we're going counterclockwise. -clock These are the eight, one eighth inch or the three mil standard point. And then we have the quarter inch guide point. It's great for doors and windows and openings uh, in the five eighths. Hope you learned a little bit more about drywall this time. It's a little more of an intermediate video. Uh, once you guys start getting good at things like this, you will become a professional drywaller. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe right down below and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss when I upload or go live. And YouTube thinks you might like this video, so give it a watch. This is Chris. Bye for now, everyone.